Okay, you're looking at the future doctors of America, and we are studying very hard. <laughs> 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 Why is this your favorite tie? Uh, because it has loud colors and uh, it's the only silk tie I have. Okay, I'm very impressed by this tie. Why is this your favorite? Well, because it's a bow tie and it's uh, pretty unusual. Oh, because I think it uh, conveys the spirit of Halloween. Because nothing else, you don't know, carol for Halloween and you don't do anything else, so I like to wear my tie. And Dan O'Malley, why is this your favorite tie? Brings out my typical Irish spirit. The luck of the Irish. Because it's brown and it hides the dirt. Uh, it's my favorite tie because it's 100% silk, handmade in Italy by some little Italian woman right in the hills somewhere, and she made this for me. Nice little old lady. Yeah. That, that's very nice of her. Yes, it was. It's a little ugly though, isn't it, Jay? But it's silk. I like this tie. It looks like Troy Warner's tie. This is my favorite tie because I stole it from Juan Dominguez in his car this morning and he ain't getting it back. This is not my favorite tie. Bill, why is this your favorite tie? Well, Rob, mainly the reason is that it doesn't shrink in the dryer. That's about it. Looks like it expanded. This is my favorite tie because it's my humorous tie. It's got class. This is my favorite tie because I'm a plain old geek. I like the length of it. Uh, this is my favorite tie because it uh, makes me look slim. Donald Dean, general office please. Donald Dean. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and the peace and the love of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. And good morning, fellas.
morning, Archbishop Malloy. Your son won't be in today. Okay, what is your son's name? And his student ID? Okay, thank you very much. Bye now. Malloy has a good reputation because of a strong academic program and great athletic teams, but that doesn't come close to describing all the things that standards do. Take this for instance. The Christmas toy drive is one way that Malloy students help other people. Each year, the standards donate loads of toys for the children of families that wouldn't be able to afford them. Malloy students are involved in many voluntary activities that help people in our local area. Brother Michael Sheeran coordinates the activities through the Religious Activities Office of this school. The Religious Activities Office exists to enhance and develop the various religious education that goes on here in our school. We run drives for the needy, we encourage volunteerism, and we do a lot of work on the school liturgies. A particular note, encouraging our students to be aware of those who are in need is an important aspect of our entire school and finds its home really in this office. Each year, we run an annual Coats for Kids drive in conjunction with WNSR radio station. This year, through the weekly mission collections, we were able to buy 147 brand new coats for poor children in Brooklyn and Queens in Manhattan. In addition to our Coats drive, we followed that with our annual toy drive. And again, using the weekly mission collection, we were able to buy toys for over 80 poor families in, the, in Brooklyn. We just completed our Fastathon as we're looking at world hunger as a Lenten project for the school. And with Fastathon last week, with over 200 students and faculty fasting, we were able to pledge over $5,300. But we're all pretty hungry. Fastathon will be followed by our annual food drive. Again, using the weekly mission collections, we will collect canned goods and give them to an encore program in St. Malachy's Parish in Manhattan to help the poor in that area. Encouraging our students to be involved in the local community is also very important. And in addition to the many students who are volunteering in hospitals and the large amount who do tutoring here in the school, we have some students who have gone out into the local volunteer ambulance corps. Here we find students learning how to respond to emergency situations as well as learning the various components of an ambulance corps. At St. John's Hospital, we have 13 of our seniors serving as Eucharistic ministers. Here we find them taking communion to the poor and the elderly in the hospital, comforting them with some words and giving them communion. All right, gentlemen, let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We use the atmosphere as the one factor. Government is not going to pay for it. You are going to pay for it. And in your textbook on page 146. That tells me I'm finding the distance of all. All right, gentlemen, remember we have a quiz tomorrow and you have homework due tomorrow. Have a good day. To Mexican night. Bienvenidos a la noche mexicana.
Donald Dean, general office, please. Donald Dean. What's the last thing you did to get detention for? Um, well, Boomer, I happened to sneak in to school at 9.30, and Mr. Smith caught me in the back. You know, not a very intelligent thing to do, but I took the consequences for it. I haven't had detention. I didn't have my book, so it was detention or five points off. And I already took, t I already have 10 points off my book card, so. I was playing tic-tac-toe with Mike Valentine in AP comp class, and I was promptly ejected. Well, Brother Hugh gave me detention for making fun of him. Man. I threw some kid's books out the window. I shaved my head for $2,000. I've never had detention, because I'm still a plain old geek. I was throwing gummy bears in music class, and they all stuck to the blackboard. I called Mr. Smith from around the corner and told him I was lost in the city looking for the Christian science reading room. Uh, we were doing a project for Mr. Sutter, and I was supposed to color in a map, and I colored outside the lines. And he took my ID card. And I ripped open a Pepsi machine and gave service to the whole school. <laughs> I gave him the wrong schedule. I told him today was day five, and it was really uh, day four, and he went to his different classes. I got caught gambling in music class. He took my money. I cut the tension. For tap dancing in Miss Dunn's English class. Hasgro puts it up. Yes! We won the game! I don't believe it! Hasgro from half court! We have won the game! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! I'm sorry I lost the chess match to prep, Mr. Harrison. What do you mean you lost the prep? Welcome to 12 Angry Men.
ran to the door. Ran? What? What's the difference? You got there. Well, I don't remember what he said, but I don't see how he run. Go. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> We're waiting. You're not going to intimidate me. I'm going to tell the white thing. It's going to be a home show, yes? Um, I, I just want to say that, I mean, it really came out great. We never even had a rehearsal this good. Uh, I, I think, I mean, we came off without a hitch, no one messed up. I, I mean, I want to just thank everyone, really. It was fun. Um, I'm surprised I did as well as I did. People got a lot of compliments. I'm an inch from tears. Chris, do you have a few words of advice for other standers who will someday be in your position? Have fun. How you doing? John, do you have any words of advice for Stannis that will one day be in the same position you are now? All I want, all I want to say is that the hard work that you've done four years will pay off at the end. Hi, Mom. I love you.
It's time to build on our new relationship with the Soviet Union. A game of chess against our old adversary. You great Scott. Oh, this is heavy. Great for school, Ryan? Yeah. I wanted to go to school and be like everybody else. What are you doing? I'm trying to drive you to the stove. See, I don't know what's going on. I don't even read the paper. Hi, Columbus. Okay, boys, let's go. Tumbling, the plane was breaking apart. Last night, I ordered U.S. military forces to Panama to bring General Noriega to justice in the United States. again. I wish to put it plainly that the government has taken a firm decision to release Mr. Mandela unconditionally. What are you going to miss most about Malloy, Jim? Well, I'd say the food. Especially the pizza rolls. I'm never going to have pizza rolls again that are as good as these. What are you guys going to miss most about Malloy? Basketball! Basketball. <laughs> well, you know, Rob, over my last four years, I've spent a lot of time in the weight room. And when I'm out of here, it's probably what I'm going to miss most. Hitting the weights! Oh, yeah! Well, the thing I feel I'm going to miss most is uh, stepping onto the field at game time. Running out onto the field with the fans emotion behind you. It's quite a good feeling. Uh, I'm going to miss my friends. Good times we had together. That's, that's about it. I'm going to miss the retreats. My friends, uh, french fries, English class. My five hours of homework I do every night. I'm going to miss poetry. I'm going to miss my friends. It's like one big happy family. Ladies' attention. Sneaking in through the gym door when I'm late. I'm going to miss all those wonderful hours of detention. Hey, it's just terrific. <laughs> Somebody's next. <laughs> all those convenient Thursday and Friday parking spots. Jason Garrett. <laughs> Those hamburgers. I guess my friend Andrew Voskinerian's lunches, which I grab off him every day. The friends I made here. Nap time in the library. I'm probably gonna miss a lot of the guys that I've really grown close to. Just the great people here. And the great teachers. I think more importantly, what is Malloy gonna miss about me?
facing lives that were shared in our homes and in the world. I have faith and confidence in us that our answers will be yes.
Hit him. Ahead. We'll hit him. Come on, guys, come on. Come on, Mike.